Hello once again, Eric with Master Tool Repair here. Uh, here we have some pilot valves. Uh, this is a short video, how to choose a pilot on loader valve, identifying a pilot on loader valve uh, that you need for your gas or electric compressor. Uh, pilot on loader valve essentially what it does. It just uh, basically is the brains of the compressor. So it will decide what the cut in pressure and what the cut out pressure of the compressor will be. Mm -hmm. Now these are various uh, styles, a few of the very popular styles on the loader valves use a mini different uh, you know, units, uh, whether it be electric or gas. You can, uh, now for a, a gas powered unit, you have to have a pilot on loader valve. So this will be uh, in place of, say, a uh, pressure switch on an electric unit. Whereas the pressure switch electrically controls the cut on and cut off pr uh, PSI of the compressor, this does the same just pneumatically. Of course, with a gas powered compressor, you have typically a style like this. This is a very popular type, where you have your outlet down to your tank, and this is, in, uh, in this case, a female uh, pipe style, your inlet from the compressor uh, transfer tube from the head. So this will be a half inch male compression in this case. And of course, you'll see most of these valves will have a vent. While, while the compressor is idling uh, and it's not pressurizing, well, the exhaust will obviously exhaust through this vent here. So it won't you know, bypass the tank. So most will have that exhaust port right there. And of course, you'll see an uh, eighth inch, either male or female connection on the, the, the side of the pilot valve. This is for the engine throttle control cable. So either the valve or the cable uh, will install onto this eighth inch port going up to your engine throttle plate, which will actuate the, uh, you know, the, the engine to idle, you know, cut back in to pressurize the unit. And of course, on top here, you have your toggle. Some uh, pilot valves may have a knob on top. Uh, somewhat, uh, most will have a toggle like this. And in the up position, this will unload the compressor. So it makes it easier to start up so it does not load the, the compressor down. And of course, flip it down to load the compressor. So that's a common feature on all. And all of these are adjustable. You'll see these adjustable nuts here, uh, which we have a separate video and technical document how to adjust the cut in and cut out pressures, the differential, etc. So they are all adjustable. And of course, here we have a, a very popular type used on many, uh, for instance, M-Glow DeWalt compressors. This is your most basic type of pilot on loader valve. You'll have your quarter inch MPT uh, outlet, usually installed to the tank or a manifold. It'll have your coarse toggle on top to unload or load the unit. And of course, it'll have just an eighth inch female there for your throttle idle control you know, cable or valve to your engine. And this doesn't have a, a port or an exhaust such as uh, this pilot valve or this pilot valve here because this will typically be used on pumps that have built-in head on loaders so it, it's, it doesn't necessarily need an exhaust port so that's one type here's another popular type used on many different types of units uh, including roll air specifically uh, same eighth inch outlet or quarter inch outlet I'm sorry an eighth inch throttle idle control port and this has a muffler which will basically just obviously muffle the exhaust when the compressor idles and here's another eighth inch uh, uh, fitting here for the uh, line going to the check valve. So that's uh, another accessory port there. And again, the most popular type is going to be this style here. This is actually a check pilot unloader combination valve. Actually, it's a built in check valve, just a, basically a precautionary uh, valve uh, you know, function to make sure there, uh, there's no back pressure getting back to the pump head. So the check valve will keep that air and hold it in the tanks. So this is actually a combination check pilot and unloader valve. This is also a check pilot unloader valve. It's basically a different uh, configuration is all it is. All right, here we have our half inch MPT outlet to your tank. And this has an, uh, the inlet is actually on the side of this. It's actually a large three quarter inch compression style uh, inlet which your transfer tube will attach to. Here we have our exhaust right here, uh, just like uh, the exhaust, just a different type. And uh, which will exhaust the air when it idles. Here's another, basically a cold start valve to uh, basically relieve any kind of excess pressure in the line when it starts. Just uh, another kind of a you know redundant valve, uh, head and loading valve essentially. And we have our eighth inch for our throttle idle control to your engine and our toggle. So you basically want to choose a pilot and loader valve. Uh, yeah, basically uh, the most important thing is the inlet you know, the type of fitting which your tube will attach to, whether it be on the top of the valve, the side, whether it be a male compression like this, or whether it be a female pipe or a flare pipe style, we have very many to choose from and just choose that based on the type of fitting on your inlet tube. And of course, your, whether it be male or female on the outlet to your tank, 
And of course, the PSI readings, all of these are typically preset at a certain pressure. For instance, this will cut in at 145 PSI, and it will cut out at 175 PSI for two stage units, whereas something like this over here will be uh, have 125 PSI rating. So it'll cut in at 90 PSI, cut out at 125 PSI. So all of these are preset, adjustable, but are preset for your particular uh, setting uh, that came with the, your compressor. So that's essentially uh, the different types and styles of uh, pilot valves we offer. And uh, if you have any more questions, you can simply view the technical document uh, on the website as well or call into a sales rep for more assistance. Once again, thank you very much for watching.